the voguing balls of Harlem, the hoochie-coochie dances of rural America, the elaborate prancing gait of runway models, these aren't influences that routinely feature in contemporary dance. Yet, for the American choreographer Trial Harrell they've proved extraordinarily fertile. Over the last two decades he's produced a body of work that's as rigorously scholarly in its historical background as it is transgressively original in style. Occupying a performance spectrum between gallery and theater, his pieces might feature a man posing semi-naked in a pair of Hermes scarves, a woman encased in a small black cube meticulously removing her swimsuit, or a man in a gaudy oriental skirt gravely shaking his booty. Harrell's work is currently enjoying an extended season at the Barbican and when the choreographer, graceful, compact and ferociously articulate, talks me. Through his work he explains that exploring the history of dance subcultures has long been his obsession. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, The Return of La Argentina, part of Trial Harrell, Hoochie, Coochie, Photograph, Tristan Fewings, Getty Images, Barbican Art Gallery, I'm interested in going into the gaps and fissures, he says, in looking at the movement that doesn't feature in the history books. As a former student of cultural theory at Yale, Harrell's interest is partly that of an academic. Yet as a choreographer he has no interest in staging authentic reconstructions of these hidden or outlaw dance forms. I don't try to represent them as historical moments. They're constructions of the imagination, which means I can play with them, tear them apart and project on to them. The wild and wonderful liberties that Harold takes with his sources can be seen in a work such as I'm in the mood for Frankie. Created in 2016, it's staged on a runway, and it's three male performers, including Harold, morph delicately between a Nosh Girls Temple dance, a catwalk, strut, a disco riff, a voguing ball. Other influences, according to Harold or Japanese Budo, the Black American dance pioneer Catherine Dunham, the designer Ray Kawakubo and the singer Said, as he describes the work, it spills out like a park of muses, settled and unsettled between history and imagination.